Hey folks, what's up? This is Samuel George with the Bertelsmann Foundation back with another 2024 election dispatch. Uh, we are about 20 minutes outside of Pittsburgh in Western Pennsylvania. And this, my friends, is a swing state. This is a very valuable state, the 20 electoral college votes at state. These Great Lakes states, you know, we're talking about your Pennsylvania, your Wisconsin, your Michigan, they really could swing either Republican or Democrat in 2024, and which way they do go will have a lot to say about who ends up winning the election. And of course, right now it's looking like that election is gonna be uh, between Democrat incumbent Joe Biden and Republican Donald Trump. So what's going on here? Um, the easiest way to think about Pennsylvania, it's a big state, it's anchored by two big cities. You got Philadelphia in the east, you got Pittsburgh in the west. Uh, these are big urban centers that vote overwhelmingly Democrat. Then you got the rest of the state, which votes mostly Republican. Now that's much more land, but it's not very densely populated. So ultimately who wins can usually come down to who turns out more, the big cities or the rest of the states. Now, in recent history, it's been the cities that are winning this competition. From 1992 to 2012, it's the Democratic candidate for president that won each time in Pennsylvania. It became so reliably Democrat that it became part of the so-called Blue Wall. These were the states the Democrats counted on when they were building their pathway to the presidency. But that Blue Wall crumbled in 2016 when Donald Trump defeated Hillary Clinton here in Pennsylvania. So what happened? Well, it's not that Trump suddenly performed better in those urban cores I was talking about. Really what he did was outperform in the traditional working class suburbs, like right here in Allegheny County. This is union country, and historically majority white working class unions were reliably Democrat voters. But that's changing. And even a subtle change like that can flip a competitive state like Pennsylvania from reliably Democrat to a wide open swing state. Right now, today, I'm in a little town called Brackenridge. This is a place I know very well. I spent a lot of time here in 2021 filming our Bertelsmann Foundation documentary, Local 1196, A Steelworkers Strike. People are starting to get nervous. Bills need to be paid. And banks don't have a problem with taking our homes. What's the chance that they're going to tell us the truth of what their health care costs are? They can continue to keep it that way and starve us out. Well, one thing that film highlighted was just how left behind people felt. The jobs are disappearing, the way of life is disappearing, and whatever it is the Democrats are saying, it's not really resonating here. And they say, oh, you know, just go get a green job. Where's the, where's the green job at? It's not here. But that frustration, that alienation, it kind of fits naturally with the nationalist populism being offered by the Republicans, especially when you compare it to the sound of crickets which is what folks around here say they're getting from the Democrats. Now, one thing that is worth saying is the suburbs around Philadelphia, that's the biggest city in the state. It's a little bit of a different story. Those suburbs voted very strongly for Biden in 2020. It's one of the major reasons that he won the state. How those suburbs go in 2024 is gonna be incredibly important and every vote will matter. So this is shaping up to be a very close election it's shaping up to be a very brutal election, kind of a bare knuckles boxing fight. Both sides think they can win it. Both sides think they should win it. Uh, both sides are gonna dump a lot of resources here. And it's gonna be very, very close coming down the stretch. And we're gonna be paying close attention to what happens here in Pennsylvania. 